Hi guys, I'm Johnny Shivers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience working Monday to Friday, primarily in the financial services sector. I'm five times AWS certified and I like nothing more in my free time than making videos for this YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at EC2 in this beginner's guide series. We've already covered numerous other AWS services, so feel free to check those videos out once you're done with this. So what is EC2? Well, EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Compute. It's a web service from AWS that lets us provision secure and resizable cloud compute capacity. It's fully configurable from either the CLI tools or on the AWS console. There's a wide range of hardware and software, such as CPU, RAM, networking, even down to the operating system. It comes in three purchase models. The first is on demand that we'll be using today in the free tier. This is where we pay for what we use. The second is spot, where we can bid on compute capacity in the AWS cloud that's currently not being used. AWS then give that to us at a discounted price. However, we should only use this for fault tolerant workloads as AWS can remove this cloud compute capacity from us at any point in time. And the third is reserved, where we can pay for an EC2 instance upfront for an extended period of time. So for example, we might know we need an EC2 instance for three years to run our website. We can say to AWS, give me that EC2 instance for three years and they will at a heavily discounted rate. But why use EC2? Well, EC2 removes that traditional barrier to entry where we have to pay for all the hardware and software upfront. We can go to the console, spin it up on demand and only pay for what we use. We also may not know exactly what we need during the development stage. With the EC2, we can go in, try different configurations of hardware and software and then spin it down once we're done. We no longer have that cost upfront of laying that out and then maybe never using it again. But when do we use EC2? Well, we use EC2 every time we need compute capacity in the cloud. So for example, our web app might run on a server, that could be EC2. Our website might run on a server, that could be EC2. Big data workloads run on EC2 instances. So for example, EMR is actually just a cluster of EC2 instances under the hood. Now, as usual with any AWS service, the best thing to do is just get on the console and get learning. So join me there where we'll spin up an EC2 instance in the free tier and then log into it. Okay guys, that's me logged into the AWS management console. So the first thing we wanna do is go to EC2 by clicking EC2 in the search and arriving at the service. So what we're gonna do now is start an instance. So what you can do once on the console is click instances here or go instances on the left. I'm gonna go on the left and I'm going to create a new instance. So we do that by either launch instances or drop down launch instances. So let's launch an instance. Let's keep it on the Amazon Linux 2 AMI because it's free tier eligible. So as I promised, this won't cost us a penny. If we hit select, it will bring up the free tier one on the micro tier. Let's keep it free. Let's go next, configure instance details. So one instance, default VPC, let it choose the availability zone, everything's fine. Add storage. We're just gonna keep it as the default storage so it doesn't cost us anything. Next, add tags. We don't need any tags. Security group, we'll just create a new security group for the purposes of this demo. And we'll review and launch. So that's everything and we click launch. We will actually use a new key pair, so I'm just gonna call this demo. This key pair is in case we wanted the SSH in off our local desktop, but there's a new feature in AWS that actually lets us log into EC2s from the console. So download that key pair and launch the instance. This will take about 30 seconds um, to get up and running, so I'm just gonna pause the video here, and as you can see, we're in the pending state there. Okay, it took about 30 seconds, and as you can see, it's now running. So if we go over to the left-hand side here and highlight that instance, and we say connect, we're given this new feature, EC2 instance connect. If we just hit connect, this actually logs us into our EC2 instance automatically. And as you can see, we're logged in. So if I do LS, we've got nothing there. If we do CD double double dot, we're in the home directory, and if I LS, you can see that there's an EC2 user there that I'm currently logged in as. Um, we're not going to go into too much depth of what else you can do in EC2 today. This is really just a beginner's lesson to show you how to spin up an instance and log in. So 
in that case, we're just going to leave it here today. We've uh, gone over the theory of EC2. We've logged into AWS. We've spun up an instance, and then we've actually logged into that instance using the AWS console. So I've been Johnny Chivers. As usual, I'll make all this material for free on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. And until next time, thanks for watching.